Hi everybody, it's Jojo, and I'm here to do a pride makeup tutorial. So I have on this cute um, t-shirt I've bedazzled myself from Michaels. It's a cute little tie-dye t-shirt, um, little ice cream cone. So this is my pride makeup tutorial. So this is going to be, um, you know, because June is pride month. So it is June now, so we're going to do um, pride. So I have on these bracelets. Um, have on the pride bracelet and I have a little rainbow bracelet as well. Um, yeah, so it's all about pride today, baby. We have the rainbow swirl candy body cream, the rainbow swirl candy body mist. I know this came out in winter, but this is a great scent for pride, like the whole month of June. It's a little cooling with the peppermint, but then it has all those fruity notes. So it's like, it's, and it's called rainbow swirl candy. So it's perfect for pride month, even though it looks like it's for winter. I'm using it for Pride Month. So, we're going to dive into a little bit of Jawbreaker, of course. And then the Cotton Candy Queen, because it's a little newer. I'm probably going to use a little bit more shades from the Cotton Candy Queen, because, you know, it's a newer uh, palette. But Jawbreaker, I will be diving into, too. I don't know exactly what look I'm going to create. <laughs> I'm, like, doing it by eye. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So, um... Let's start. Where is my brushes? So let's start with the brushes, of course. So, um, trying to think what I'm going to start with. I really don't even know. There's just so many, um, I really don't know what the hell I'm starting with. Okay, so let's start with Con and Kenny Queen. I guess I'll start with something generic. I'll do a pink, um, in the crease. So I want to talk about, you know, LGBTQ pride stuff in this video. I want to talk about um, my coming out story, you know, um, stuff I had to deal with, like hate crimes and things going on in the media with just LGBTQ rights. So this is going to be a lot of like, it's going to be a pride oriented video. Talk about a lot of pride stuff, my favorite pride movies, all that. So um, we will get started. I'm going to go into... Um, I think I'm going to go into Pastel Pussy first in the Kind of Kenny Queen palette. There's <laughs> so much palette. Um, do a little more. Okay, this is not going to work. A lot of shit going on here. try to get positioned here. Okay. So, um, here's a cute pink. So, where do I start? Um, I guess I'll start with my coming out story. So, I never really had a coming out story. <laughs> Everyone knew that I was gay. No tea, no shade. That's just what it was. No, there was no surprise. There was no carpet pulled down to anyone's feet. Everyone knew what it was. Um, so I never f physically com came out. My brother has though. My brother was um, in the closet for, um, until he was like 22 or 23 around there and he came out you know that he was gay and my sister also was is is gay but i don't think she really ever came out either because with me and her it was very like obvious with my brother it was obvious but not as obvious mm -hmm. um and then i guess people also thought it was like oh my god all three of them are gonna be gay so it's like michael can't, you know, my brother can't be you know I said his name, who cares? Everyone everyone knows his name. Um, yeah, so he came out and whatever. And um, of course, like no one cared because at that point it was like me, my sister was is gay. It's kind of like, and then Marilla comes out, it's like, okay, like whatever at this point, you know? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, I came, I never came out. Um, I would always do act like this. Like, even though I was a kid, like I really had no shame. I didn't give a damn. I'd put on my mother's lipstick, my mother's makeup. 
I put on her nightgowns, you know, um, that's just what it was. I never really hit it. Um, I think I'm going to go into Castle of Sprinkles next. I think I'm going to use the same brush. So yeah, so I never really hit it. My mother, um, obviously she died when I was 15. So, um, I, I was myself, but I really wasn't like completely comfortable with talking about gay. I didn't even know what it was, to be honest with you. That's why I feel like, well, I'm going to talk about teaching kids about gay in schools in a second. My mother knew. She even told me, she said, you know, I know you're different and that's fine. She told me, actually, I think she told me that right oh, shortly before she died. She said, I know you're gay. Not, not gay, but she knew, she said, I know you're different. And it's fine. Like, it is what it is. So she was trying to tell me without telling me, you know. Um, it's it's something that... I knew my mother would have accepted me. So that was not um, a problem. Like, I knew that regardless. Um, you know, Joseph Henry is a different story. Um, I wasn't sure, even though he knew, I wasn't sure if he would accept it honestly because um it's just so um it's obviously not what he had planned you know because um he has me my brother my sister were all gay and I know that that's not what he had planned but um it it's what it, what, it, what it was like there's nothing we can do he I have to be honest um I don't think he fully accepts it, but he could be a lot worse. I have to be honest. He's, he could be a lot worse. He's really not that bad when it comes... He's bad about a lot of things, but he's not as that bad when it comes to the gay stuff, honestly. There were some things, of course, about me wearing makeup that was an issue for him, and I spoke about it before. But when it comes to me being gay, I don't think he really cares that much maybe a little bit but not that much so um yeah I mean that was basically what it was I never really had um a coming out situation um so that's it so there's not really much more I can say about that um but you know it is what it is like, there's not much um, one can say. This Castle of Sprinkles is, I love it, but it's also, um, it, 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 there's a lot of fallout. I have to be honest, there's a lot of fallout with the shade. It has glitter in it, so I guess that's part of the reason why it probably was a little more, like, loosely pressed, I guess. So, um... Okay, so let's talk about um, teaching people, teaching LGBTQ rights in schools. I think this is a very important topic to talk about, and it's not and not really discussed. And I think it needs to be said. But first, I do want to go into. No, I think I'm going to go into cupcake royalty, and I'm going to just blend what I did. Do that. Yeah, and we're gonna blend what I did with the purple and the other pink in my crease, and we'll see what happens with this. I don't know what's gonna happen with his eye, but we'll see. So, um, I do believe that obviously, if people talk about LGBTQ rights, it doesn't mean sex. I don't want people to think, oh, we're teaching kids about sex. That's not what what it is. You could you could do it in in a um a PG rated version. You don't have to talk about anal sex or anything crazy like that. You can teach it without being too graphic. You know what I mean? Because I believe if you can show a guy and a girl kissing in a movie, in a Disney movie or whatever, then I think kids can also understand and watch two guys kissing or two girls kissing. I don't think that that's going to be more like inappropriate. You know, it's basically, it's the same thing. If a guy and a girl kisses, same thing if two guys kiss, two girls kiss. That's the way I look at it. Um, I do believe if you teach it at a younger age, they will not think it think it as is as weird. 
growing up and I think people will be more comfortable with themselves and just more comfortable with accepting other people that are different than them. So I do think it's important. Now the age bracket, I think to start teaching it, I think, um, I think once you hit puberty, honestly, I think 12, maybe 13, I think people should start to teach um, Pride Month. I think if, I think if around the same time, if you're gonna teach Black History Month and you're gonna teach about Women's Rights Month, that should be around the same time you teach it about Pride Month too. That's how I feel. Cause if you're gonna talk about, teach kids about everyone else's rights, you're gonna have to teach about gay rights too. Let's keep it real here. Let's just keep this very real. So that's the way I, I feel. Now, if I had kids, which I don't want kids at all, but if I had kids and the schools weren't teaching my kids about LGBTQ, I would do it myself. So I think parents should take note of that and be and, and try to tell the schools to do it. But if they refuse and don't do it, then I think that they them as parents should have the responsibility to, to do it themselves. There was a situation that happened just recently, actually. It, I think it literally just happened last week. Um, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Hold on, I want to see what I'm gonna do next. Um, I think I'm gonna go into the blue. I'm gonna go into Con and Kenny party and do that in the outer corner here. So it happened about a few days ago. Um, I was walking from my car to my house, and um, there was this little grown little boy with with her, their parents walking. And they were basically like, the little boy was like, to me, he was talking about me. He was like, is that a boy or a girl, mommy? Like, what, boys can be girls, I guess, what? And then he, start, he started to laugh and then the parents started to laugh. So this is the problem I have with this. I don't have a problem with the kid saying that. I don't have a problem with that at all because they don't know better. So I actually don't have a problem with him saying that even though it's inappropriate and I feel like I don't know, because I was a kid once, obviously, and I never acted or said shit like that. But then again, like, everyone's different. So, um, he did. The little boy said that. What I have a problem with is the parents. Because they didn't reprimand him or teach him in that moment and be like, you cannot say that to people. People are different or whatever. Try to have a spiel or maybe even talk to them at, later afterwards, because you're obviously not going to do it in the middle of the street. But try to like tell them like don't do that and then later on have a conversation why i think they did not have a conversation with him afterwards to say it was wrong was because they were laughing with him so that's even worse because not only are you teaching your kids that it's okay and it's funny you're laughing along with them thinking it's a joke so that is really horrible parenting in my in my opinion i think that that is just horrific parenting I was, I was, I cringed. I wasn't like in shock. Like I didn't know. I was like walking into my house when it happened. So I really didn't, I really wasn't trying to like say anything or start anything. Cause it was like a long day of work. I was really exhausted. And I literally was literally just walking into my house when I heard them behind me saying that. I should, I could have said something to them and stuff and said something, but I thought the parents would say something. It's their, it's their responsibility. It's not my responsibility to teach their kids what's right and wrong and what's not to say. Now have they taught them in school or taught them prior to that situation about gay or about people being different they probably wouldn't have made that comment that like inappropriate comment but because they had they didn't know better they did i think it's very important to teach kids about this in school that's the way i look at it a lot of people w will look at it differently because they think that if they teach people about gay or non-binary or maybe not trans because trans is, is a touchy subject to be honest with you that could be a little bit that would probably wait later in in the school years but non-binary i could see them teaching at a young age too because people do come out as non-binary as, as a child even trans to be honest with you um there might be a way that they can even talk about trans rights where it doesn't sound like inappropriate right right because you want to talk discuss it but you don't want to say oh wow well, it's about a woman taking off their penis and, and becoming a woman and or, or or vice versa you know what i mean like you don't want to talk about any sexual and amount um sexual parts right you want to try to discuss it without mentioning that so what you could do is you could be like um you know 
people are born different. Some people feel like they were born in the wrong body and they want to change that and be more feminine and female and play with girl stuff and wear girls clothes. And that's just what it is, right? And even if they feel like it's weird, you can just say you just have to accept them. Just like we accept different ethnicities and we accept different um, women's rights and we accept everything. We have to also accept people who want to transition, people who identify as non-binary and people who obviously are part of the LGBTQ community, right? There is definitely a way to teach it. And obviously in a professional setting, in a professional classroom, um, with a teach a prof with a prof with a professor or a teacher that um, is trained, I think they could do it. I really do. Okay, so now I'm going to go. Hmm. I think I'm going to go into Jawbreaker now. Let me see what's in Jawbreaker. I think I'm gonna go into orange juice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go into orange juice, right? Or should I go into... Maybe I'll go into um, sock, which is the matte orange and jawbreaker. See what brush I'm gonna use with that. Yes, yeah, so there's definitely a way you can do it, making it sound PG. Now, there was a situation that happened recently. I was so disgusted when I heard the situation. So a teacher in Florida, I think it was Florida or Texas, some other state, I don't know, one other state in the, in the country. Um, but I do think it was either Texas or Florida. I really don't know which one. A teacher showed a classroom a Disney movie that had a gay character in the movie, right? So the kid went home and told the parents and then the parents called up the school and wanted the teacher fired for showing them this inappropriate movie about, it was a Disney movie, literally just, I don't know what this movie was about, but it had a gay character in it, but he wasn't even a big character. He was just literally like, I don't know. Like, I think he was just like a supporting character in the movie. They were like, she needs to get fired. This is inappropriate. And the school board wrote back and said, I'm so sorry that your child had to go through this. This is not what we want our kids to be taught in schools. This is inappropriate behavior. This is not the way it should be. I am disgusted. It was a whole spiel this friggin' school wrote to, back to the parent. Like it was so disgusting what they were saying in that in that damn in that in that goddamn um, letter back to the parent. It was just like like literally like they were talking as if the teacher like tortured them like lock them in a chamber and torture them. Like that's the way that email made it sound. I'm like, this is a goddamn Disney movie. So I um, was really disgusted by that. And that happened just recently. The case hasn't even been finalized yet. Obviously the teacher did nothing wrong and she should not get fired because she literally did nothing wrong. But the way the world is, even today, you never know. You know what I'm saying? So it is definitely I think I'm gonna go with my finger because I don't think with the brush it's going as bright as I want it to be. Okay, I mean, if the finger is a little better because it's coming out a little more bright orange. That's what I want it to be a vibrant bright orange. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, um, it's so disgusting that this is what's still going on in life. Um, I think it really is gross. Um, it's, you know, we've come a long way, but it's still a really big fighting pro process here. It's really sad. And also depending on where you live, it's probably worse. Like if you're living in like small towns or like hick states, it's probably way worse, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely not easy. 
it's definitely not easy. But, um, yeah, so what I realized from different from Jaw Break and Cotton Candy, that they're both rainbow palettes, but this is more pastel based, and these are a little bit more brighter colored, um, like, not deep dark colors, but they're, like, a little bit more deeper than the colors in here. This colors are completely pastels, very light pastels. So, yeah, that's all I want to talk about with that. It, it's very sad that that is going on. I pray that that stops. But honestly, I don't think we'll ever fully be um, accepted. We will never be. Okay, so I don't know what I'm, the hell I'm gonna do now. I think I'm gonna go into um, what the hell I'm doing. I honestly don't know what the hell I'm doing. I think I'm gonna go into Lemon Drop. Put that like right here in the corner here. Let's see if this works, I don't know. It's like in the corner, in the corner here. Something like that. This is gonna be a little bit of a messy, <laughs> like rainbow eye. I mean, it may come out in the end because this is what happens when makeup tutorials, like when you're doing the, the the look, it looks crazy, but then, you know, it may look better later on. So we'll see what happens here. This is a very crazy rainbow eye, obviously. Like you, you, like this is not an everyday eye, obviously, that I'm doing, but I mean, it's Pride Month, so we're gonna get a little color here. Summer, it's Pride Month. Okay, we are gonna clean that up, but later. We're not gonna do that right now. Okay, oof. Okay. Now let's go with, girl, okay, so we're gonna take a break from the eyeshadows and do some other stuff. So let's talk about more stuff. So, um, we're going to liquid liner now. So, let's see what else we can talk about retaining. Um, so yeah, I wanna talk about sometimes I was discriminated against. Um, you know, I, I was discriminated against. I wasn't technically bullied in school. But I definitely, um, definitely had moments where people were mean to me for, for being gay. People would ask me and be like, are you gay, are you gay? And they would say it's so like rude and so like, like it's a bad thing. So I would say no, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what gay was until years later. This is why it's very important to teach it in schools at a young age because kids are very mean and they, they talk about stuff and then your child are, is left in the dark and they don't know what the hell the other kid's talking about. So it needs to be taught, it really does. Um, but anyways, yeah, people were mean to me. They, they said some vicious things, you know, um, cause I got called the F word constantly. Um, you know, I want to put a little bit. Yeah, that's it. That's what I want to put right there. Something's telling me to do something else, like in that outer corner there. Because I feel like the blue is taking up a big chunk of the eye. But I feel like it may be too late to put like something else there. Let me see. Like if I put like maybe like the green or something. I feel like it'd be too, it'd be too late. Oh no, actually it's coming out nice. I put the green there. Oh, actually no, this is actually, okay, so I'm actually happy with this. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'll go back in with the blue. And I probably will do this with my finger. Like, I know at the other times I, I didn't do it like that. I'll probably do it with my finger now. thing is I feel like the blue okay back in with the green a little bit more this is a whole process this with the rainbow yeah, this is gonna be a whole process with the rainbow I really have to be like patient with it like really patient with it okay anyways so yeah, people would say the F word to me, obviously. I know friends, I've had friends that said they got bullied their whole lives and it was way worse than what I went through. Like compared to what what, what they went through, it's, it's like a, it literally was a cakewalk for me. But I definitely had moments where I was like, oh my God, like people are just very mean. Yeah, people are very mean. Not even just kids, but like just anyone in general, just very mean. That's it. See, because you know why? Because I don't want it to be that black. So now we're going to go into um, eyeliner. I just wanted some black in there. Okay. I'm gonna clean. By the way, I'm using a new my one of my Jeffrey and Morphe brushes got it broke, so I had to get a new brush. So I got like a new Sephora brush. I love this brush. This is a really good brush. Like really feels nice. It really applies the foundation nicely. It's really good stuff. Okay, now we're gonna go into liquid liquid concealer. So yeah, people would definitely say shitty things to me. Where is mine? Yeah, gives a mean, whatever. I think had I known what gay was back then, I would have just said, yeah, I'm gay and who cares, you know what I mean? But I, I really, when they would ask me, I didn't know what it was and they would say it like it was a bad thing. Like they would say it as if like, like they were asking if you were a terrorist. Do you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I said no, cause I really didn't. But had I known better, I would have said yes, obviously. Cause I never was ashamed to be who I was. I knew I was different. I just didn't know what, who or what, like what it was or what the word was for it. Um, I know the yellow is getting a little messed up. I'm going to clean that up. Don't worry, I'm gonna clean that up in the inner corner there. I'm gonna definitely clean that up. It's definitely gonna get cleaned up. It's just, you know, I have to do this first. But yeah, so a lot of like um, gay um, movies, 
another thing I don't like that I feel like there should be more gay movies and TV shows out there. I feel like a lot of the gay TV shows get canceled after the first and second seasons, which I don't I don't understand why. I know a lot of people don't like to watch that kind of stuff, I guess. But there's nothing wrong with it, and I feel like if they did give it a chance, there's a lot of good gay shows out there. But they get canceled because no one views, views it because of that. However, if it was a straight show about no gay people, it would have kept going on and on and on for years. It's messed up. It is messed up, but that's the way society is, and it is what it is. But I definitely think, even American Idol, like, there was so many runner-ups that were gay, you know what I mean? Like, there was a lot of them that didn't come out yet, but I think people knew they were gay, and that's why they didn't make them the American Idol. And I feel like they should have. Like, Clayton should have won his season. Adam Lambert should have won his season. The season with um, David Archuleta, he just came out. It was a very, you know, he's very, it's cute. Like, you know, you can tell he was very shy on American Idol. He wasn't fully being himself. And he finally came out. And I know it was a hard thing for him. It was really, really cute. He, he just, like, he was, like, crying in one of the interviews. And he said he was really struggling with it a lot growing up. I felt so bad for him. He's so cute. Like, I really, I always love David Archuleta. He has great music. He has a great voice. I loved him on American Idol. You know. I do think in his season, though, I do think the winner should have won. Like, I think it was his name, David Cook. He was, his name was also David. I do think that he definitely deserved to win, honestly. I definitely do. But I also feel like David Archuleta um, has a great voice. And, and you know, he could have easily won as well. So, now let's do setting powder. Hey, you guys. So basically, um, if anyone's watching this, that's, you know, are afraid to come out, just come out. Like, I know people are mean and people um, don't accept. Like, there's so many guys that talk to me, even, and they're like, a lot of them are late 20s, the early 30s. They come and they talk to me. And they're so afraid to meet up with me. And they're so afraid to date me. And they're so afraid to be with me because of society. It's so sad. It's like... Now... Guys should just grow balls and just fucking be themselves, right? They shouldn't be afraid of society. But sometimes peer pressure, it gets to you. No matter what age you are. You can be in high school. You can be in college. You can be literally 30, 40 years old and people are you're still going to be under peer pressure, I guess. It sucks because there's so many great guys out there that hit me up and they, they want to meet up with me, but they get cold feet. They get so scared. It's like, it's so, it's so sad to watch because these are grown ass men. So it's really sad. It's cringy. But... And everyone has their own journey and their own story. A lot, of, a lot of guys don't come out or they never come out and they hide it forever. <laughs> Some people wait until they're married with kids. I mean, that's just the way it is. It is very sad, but that's society and that's what we have to do. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. go into my liner this I don't know what I'm gonna do I think um I know my last tutorial the summer one I did like a blue underneath the eye I don't know if I want to do that I think I'm gonna do the same spiel I did at the at the top like the crease I think I'm gonna do 
something like colorful maybe like maybe like the blue the like the I don't even know like I'm trying to like see what the hell I'm gonna do here I don't know blue in my eye now i think i'm gonna go into what the hell am i gonna go into now maybe like ice cream drip go into that i'm kind of kenny queen Now the inner corner, I'm gonna go back with the yellow and clean up the yellow now. now I'm gonna do that. Um, I think I'm gonna go into, again, Ice Cream Queen and go into Sugar Climax, the, the, um, the light yellow pastel here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go into I think I'm gonna go into the same that same shade and highlight my brow with it too actually. Where is that brush? The other brush here is. Go right into this and highlight it. This is not my favorite shade, but it is a nice little yellow to just highlight the the, the, the brows with. Just a light, like metallic, yeah. mascara so yeah um i love pride month i always do the pride parade i just wish it wasn't in june because it's always so hot on that day so it's like hard to like celebrate and enjoy it because it's so hot like you're sweating and i always do a full face obviously and i always do a rainbow eye like this on pride um, when, when i go to the pride parades so and there's it's always melts off like i'm always like you know, it's always a mess at the end. I've been to the Pride Parade and because I feel like the New York City Pride is like one of the biggest 
pride parades in the world and um i've been i think five or six times now unfortunately i don't think i'm gonna go this year because it's so sad like i'm i have so much shit to do that weekend i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm hoping i have enough time to to go to the parade um but it's always a hassle to get there because of the traffic and it's always crowded but i always have so much fun like it's so much fun even with it being so hot it's always so much fun it really is the gays know how to party the only thing i don't like about the pride parades other than the, the heat the weather you really can't take your kids to it, unfortunately, unless you're, you're okay with your kids seeing nudity. Because for some reason, like, the, the pride parades, there's always, like, boobies out and people in, like, little thongs. And it's not appropriate for kids. So I wouldn't take my kids to it, to be honest. But um, and that's the only thing I don't like about it. I wish it was a little more PG rated for kids. But I guess the kids, you, you, you don't, you, kids are not supposed to, I guess, go to the pride parade at that point. I feel like it's more for adults. It's more like an adult party. I wish Pride Month was May, to be honest with you. That would be the perfect weather. Like if it was this month, I mean last month, excuse me, if it was May, it would be like the perfect weather and I would love that. I think the reason why it is in June is because of the stone wall that happened in the city. I think the gay rights of people that started to fight back happened like in June. I think it was the 80s or the 70s, I wanna say, like, like around the 70s. I don't know when the Stonewall happened. The Stonewall happened late 70s, early 80s, I think. But my favorite gay movies, Press for Bobby is like my number, I love it, with um, Sonoda Reaver, I think her name is. She plays the mother. That's based on a true story. That was such a good movie. And then I love um, The Broken Hearts Club that came out in the year 2000. That was a cute, fun, like, about, about like a group of gay friends and the, you know, challenges and stuff. And I love that one. That one's a good one too. Brokeback, Brokeback Mountain is not my favorite. I know that's a lot of people's favorites, like the, one of the biggest gay ones, but like that one wasn't my favorite, honestly, just personally. I think that they focus too much on like the other the other aspects of their lives than them in the mountains. And I feel like they were a little bit too aggressive with each other. I feel like there was no like romance to the movie. I feel like they were just aggressive like straight guys getting out their aggression out in the in the woods like like having sex with each other and getting their aggression out that's how i looked at it i didn't look at it as like they were in love because it was just so aggressive like their love story Okay, so that's on that. Now let me... Okay, so I have to be honest, this eye look, and I don't want to toot my own horn because I, like I don't like to really brag, but this eye look I did is probably one of my favorites I've ever done on this channel. I think it's so cute and colorful for the summer and of course for Pride Month, obviously. Like it's, it's really nice. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. 
So let me just Where's the other powder? Okay. I'm gonna do all over the all over the face. You guys know how I do. I'm gonna get on my getting on my palette here. Let's do contour, my Anastasia palette like always. Anastasia contour kit. There's still some life in this palette. Like I hit pan on so many shades, but like there's still so much life in it. Like I'm still finding a way to keep using it. So I'm gonna go into Princess Cut, right? Or should I go into, I should go into Ice Crusher. I'm gonna go into Princess Cut and then I'm gonna go into Ice Crusher, I'm gonna do both. Ice Crusher is an icy pink, really, really pretty. gonna do ice crushes so let me see what palette what, what color are you I think I'm gonna do ice pick headache which is like a pinky with like a blue shift so ice pick headache it's you know, it's that one I've used it many times where's the color you guys see where I put the highlighter brush and you guys can tell me because Oh, here it is. Oh, let me go on for the quads and the goddesses. Okay, now we're gonna clean it up under the, the lid. I have my jawbreaker, rainbow jawbreaker mirror here. And we're gonna go clean up under the eye. Where is that brush? So we're gonna clean up over here. This is pretty. This is like a, I don't know, the, 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 this highlight combination is like a pinky blue purple. Like, it's so pretty. I don't know how to explain it. It's like so pretty. But I do like to clean up over there. It's too blinding, it's a little too much. Even though it's Pride Month and it's just Pride. You want to be colorful and blinding and crazy. Or you want to kind of bend a little bit, you know? Okay. So now, um, okay. I'm going to clean up my nose a little bit here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do strive for perfection when it comes to my makeup, of course.
blush on that. Let's do blush now. I'm going to do the Liz McGuire blush in ColourPop. There's bubblegum pink, rosy cheeks. Dies down just a little bit here. Okay. Alright, now setting spice. We're gonna do a little of this from Urban Decay All Nighter. Beautiful. Okay, so the lip I'm gonna do is Jeffrey What the Fuck. This very bright pink for this is a very vibrant, bright fuchsia pink. Gotta stand out for pride, so that's what it is. This is Jeffrey, what the fuck? It's a liquid lipstick. Perfect summer color. Right fun summer lip here. Going a little bit. Trying up a little bit. This is not the best application I ever did, but for the lips, but we're just gonna have that roll with it. Let's see if I can. Well, this lipstick really dried up. I had to do this out. I put it in the empty box. Yeah, I, it's my the last time I can use this. I mean, I'm getting it out, but it's very dry in there. Man, I wish I had like a, like a bright pink, like, Lip liner, you know, like down there to get one. But you gotta make it work. God, I'm spending so much time on my lips. It's just. You gotta, you know, it's a, a pink, so you wanna make it like, like nice and aligned, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna put on this Kylie gloss. Before, before I put the Kylie gloss on, I'm gonna put some, I already put on some Rainbow Swirl Candy Cream earlier, I'll put some on later, but I'm gonna put on the mist now. I love this mist, it's so fruity, it tastes, it smells like lemon drop, cherry, blue raspberry, with a mix of like a cooling effect for the summer. It's perfect for winter, Christmas time, but it's also perfect for summer and Pride Month. It smells so good. Oh my god, it smells so good. Kylie Gloss, always shining. Okay. 
Okay, and that's it. Well, this is the finished look for my Pride makeup tutorial, guys. This is my t-shirt again. I bedazzled this um, ice cream t-shirt with bedazzled diamonds from um, Michael's Arts and Crafts. So this is my Pride. This is my Pride look, girl. Look at this eye. This is so rainbow and pretty. It's very out there, very crazy, very bright, completely rainbow for Pride Month. But I like the way it came out. Um, and the lip, the bright pink lip, the highlight. It's definitely a crazy <laughs> makeup look. Obviously, this is not every day. This is only for Pride Month, for June, for colorful. If you want to go really out there, extreme color for eyes, for summer. And for Pride Month, like this is not obviously for everyone. So yeah, I got the purple and the pink in the crease, the green on the corner, at a corner here, the blue, the orange, the yellow, some more blue and purple on the on that lash line there. So it's a whole rainbow eye. And then you got the bright pink lip with the gloss. Yeah. All right. So happy Pride Month, everyone. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my Pride Month makeup tutorial. Um, I had a lot of fun creating this look with you guys here today. And um, yeah, I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye.